Hi guys, welcome back. Uh, so, previously we've tied the Big Hole Demon number one. Uh, so this is a streamer fly from the 1964, I think, it, or in around about then. Uh, so, the number one was the silver with the badger. So, number two is uh, gold and furnace. So, the same fly essentially, but I'm going to do something slightly different this time, and then I'm going to do a it calls for a tinsel body in the Z in the previous one I was unclear as to whether that was a flat tinsel or a oval. So this time I'm going to do it with an oval. So there's some slightly different considerations when tying that. Same hook again, a must add 3665A in a size 2. And we're going to use black tying thread again. So we take on our tying thread and again I'm using my fingers to guide the tying thread as I travel back down my hook roughly to the point and snap it off. So, I'll take a furnace type hackle here and see can I get a couple of tips out of it to make the Tail with this. I'm going to take two feathers, put them back to back, pick the point that I'm going to uh, tie them in at. So you can tie it very short, tie it long. I, that's a personal preference up to yourself. I'm probably going to go for a bit longer here. And then I will strip the hackles evenly. Offer up the two feathers. The weight of these is causing issues, so I'm just going to measure up the tips. Orientation of the stock there until I get them sitting as I want. Right, so these uh, tag ends of our hackles here, then I'm going to wrap forward so that they will be even under the tinsel and won't create any sort of a step up here. It's not as important because the front section is again chenille. time to tie in. So I've got a, a vintage wide sort of uh, gold oval here and I'm going to do a similar thing as I did with these stocks here. I'm going to tie that in the whole way down my body section. So I'm going to take it underneath here and tie it down underneath. I get to the rear there. I'll come forward. I'm just trying to create as even as an underbody as I can using this type of silk. Now if I really wanted to I could go and take a, a flat floss or something like that and create a, a very smooth underbody. Uh, and when using gold tinsels, an option there would be to use something like a primrose or an olive or something like that so that it won't show through. And then I'm just going to use the rotatory function of the base there to get this started. When you're doing your first few wraps, it's probably easier to set the hook up on its side, point away from yourself, because then you can easier avoid the uh, point.
sometimes when I'm wrapping uh, these sorts of bodies I prefer to look at the far side because often you know you wrap away at this side no gaps and then whenever you go to look at it from the far you realize that you've missed bits so tie that in a couple of turns to hold it on top turn the tinsel up the shank of the fly and tie that off so now we're going to pick a hackle I'm going to go into one of the quite bigger ones here and strip it back. So the aim will be that we'll tie off on bare stock, that'll be the neatest. Uh, and I'm going to double the hackle. So I have a video uh, in my techniques section which you can have a look for. And that will show you how to double hackles explains it in more time than we have to do it here so but basically I'm bending the stock and pulling against the fibers there to end up with this finished result so I'm going to just trim the tip of that off and I'm going to come in and tie that in back here on our tinsel a little bit and even it off up there so body Front body section is uh, black chenille, so I'm going to go forward to just behind where I intend to finish the body section and then wrap back and that will give me an even body as we did in the previous fly. So keep our hackle out of the way. And then wrap the chenille in touching turns. We get to the front here. And this is another technique for tying in uh, chenille. So I just take my fingernails and I'm just going to separate some of that core. take a wrap until I'm on that clear patch that I so I'm tying in on core rather than across all the twisted in material of it cut that off the core then of that last couple of mil will unravel and you pick out whatever's wrapped up in it a couple of turns Across that and that will give you a very neat tie-in of chenille. So now all that remains is to wrap the hackle and as I said previously in the in the sister fly of this, the uh, it's not overly secure in the teeth could rip this. So I said if you were going to tie this to fish with it, I'd, I'd advise you to add a rib, either a I suppose a fine gold wire or even a black wire or a a uh, nylon rib would make it more secure. We've come through the body section. And you notice I'm sort of I don't just whack it on, I've been sort of twisting and changing the angle of my stock so that the hackles lay in the angle that I want to and stroking back as we go as well. So now I'm just going to wrap these final bits of the hackle and now I'm tying off on bare stock. That'll hold it in place. Take that forward. And trim. So, 
Now all that remains is just to form the head. So as I said previously, we've created a very small head, so now we can use our thread to make a shape of a head. And because we have room to work with, as I said, whereas if we created a, a big ugly head, just necessitating tying in the thickness of uh, our materials or having too many wraps on, then we'd have to deal with that. Whereas I said, this way, if you start off with a really small head, you build it up to whatever shape you want it to be. Finish that off and then varnish and that will be more fly tight. So we use clear varnish and then as that dries I'll come back and have a look at it and keep adding more and more coats on until I get the desired result. But that is our big hole demon number two, the gold version, tied. Uh, so, if you liked the video, uh, give us a like and a subscribe, leave some comments, uh, tell your friends, and until next time, tight lines and thanks for watching.